Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. We have some of the breaking news. It seems like Ukrainian forces were able to advance across the Dnepr river in Kherson. So we have the information so far unconfirmed by our generals, but some of the media resources continue to post even the videos that our ships, the small boats, were able to cross from Ochakiv to this area that you can see is still covered with a red color on this map but it seems like our forces already landed on that shore we call it Kimborska Kasa, which is the part here's the part of the Mykolaiv region and the rest is the Harrison region also we have unconfirmed information that our forces were able to go from Kherson across the other shore to Oleshki and took this village Yes, my friends, this information may be not 100% correct. Aleshki is a very important part in this region because it's the main crossroad, the major place, I would say, across the shore. And the rest is just a wasteland, some of the sand. This is the Aleshkivsky sand pit, the biggest desert in Ukraine. Yes, we have also deserts. Speaking about the Kherson city itself, as you can see, it's very close to the Russian control area. However, President Zelensky today attended the place, so he was not care about the possible Russian artillery fire and even in Russian media resources their propaganda they were in desperate how Russia doesn't use the artillery system against the major enemy President Zelensky and other generals who went to the place with him it seems like our president has balls of steel or how you call it in English yeah we're gonna get to it a little bit later but today Russia also advanced near to Markivka. Markivka is in Donetsk area. Uh, sorry, my friends. Marinka. Yes, Marinka. And uh, before it was like that. And today they got some of the success, but it's nothing compared to Ukrainian advancement. And yesterday I told you about the unconfirmed information that we took uh, Markivka. Markivka is here in Lugansk area, the major crossroad. As you can see, this information was confirmed today and it was yesterday, this part. And today our country attack continued and we took this very important village and i expect the same thing uh, for the harrison area across the Dnieper river to be covered with the blue color tomorrow so we expect this part and this part to be taken by ukrainian forces if that is true if ukrainian forces were able to advance across the Dnieper river my friends it's the great achievement for us in that case i do expect that russia continue to withdraw their forces from this territory because there is no any way how they can push us back to the Dnieper River. Speaking about the defense of our positions, the northern part of the shore of the Dnieper River is on higher ground compared to the southern region. That means that it's better for defense. Artillery may fire more precisely and for the longer range. As for the rest parts, everything with no changes. And let's go to the latest news and events. And by the way, subscribe for my Telegram channel. There I upload the recent information about what is happening in Ukraine and not only. The link is in the video description below. Let's go. Again, breaking news. It's been reported just a few minutes ago that there are some of the explosions in Skadovsky district of Kherson region. And as you can see, it's still controlled by Russians. So this photo was taken in Kherson today. President Zelensky is in the middle and our warriors just there. And he honored our soldiers with medals. So yes, it's Kherson for sure. Russian media say that it was recorded somewhere in Poland. But no, it's Kherson. So it's not the except it's Hearson. We have similar letters to English, but they have different meaning. <laughs> and yes, President Zelensky shows that he is with our people, with our army, and he doesn't afraid to show himself just very close to the front lines. He also visited Lysychansk before, then it was very hard situation for our forces there. And as far as I remember, he attended front lines more than four times. And yes, some of the selfies of our soldiers with our president. Imagine Vladimir Putin uh, to take photos with his soldiers. 
He's so afraid. He's a bunker man. <laughs> we call him bunker man. The chief commander of Ukrainian army spoke today with Mark Milley, the commander of the United States Army, and they agreed that our army will continue to push Russians away and will not follow any kind of negotiations with Russia until they will withdraw their forces from Ukrainian soil. Russian media resources say that the Ukrainians are getting ready to counterattack on the Zaporizhia direction. That is what I also expect. And they say that formation of the battalions is already almost finished. They also say that we may increase our advancement in Lugansk area. And this evening there were some shots heard in Hola Pristin, which is also not far away from Kherson, but on the other shore of the Dnieper River. The General Assembly of the United Nations today voted for the reparations in favor of Ukraine. Awesome! It is the first step to take Russian freezed actives money in European and American banks and send them to Ukraine. I was very really surprised to see Hungary is voted for it. Thank you. Our Defense Minister Reznikov said that probably we will do occupy the Crimea not with the help of the military, but it may happen because of the Russian regime collapse. And we can definitely see the signs that there is the big confrontation within the Russian government. And where is Putin? He declared that Kherson is the Russian territory, it was taken back by Ukraine, and we heard just Russian media, some of the analytics, Prigozhin, Kadyrov, etc. But Putin is silent, he's nowhere. Interesting meeting was conducted today in Ankara, the capital city of Turkey. Russian intelligence chief Narishkin today met with his colleague from CAA, United States, in that place. And according to the CNN resource, uh, they didn't speak about the war in Ukraine itself, they spoke about the nuclear threats. And Putin's press secretary Peskov today reacted on the visit of President Zelensky in Kherson. He said that no comment. <laughs> One more confirmation that Putin keeps silent and he's just out of clue what to do next. He just sits and waits uh, how situation is developing around him. He's not over the control of it. And I think his big Russian airplane is already in a media situation, so he needs to do something not to crush it. But I think it will crush anyways. Some of the wrong news were published today by Bloomberg and other media resources saying that Minister Lavrov was taken to hospital and later we saw Lavrov uh, sitting in his uh, room, everything was fine with him. Firstly, it was reported by Indonesian officials, as Bloomberg says. This video was published today, so in the morning on the light boats covered by fog, our forces landed on the other shore of the Dnieper River in Kimberski peninsula or how we call it but it hasn't been confirmed by our officials yet so this information could be fake do not trust it now today president biden met with chinese leader xi jinping and they agreed not to use nuclear weapons and they turned not to turn their race into the big conflict that's great news but there are remarks that china got some profit from the war in ukraine first of all china became the alternate airfield for russia in this sanctioned war secondary putin started the war not only against ukraine but against the free world Western countries that have completely different mindset and philosophy than communist China. But still I think that the war in Ukraine destabilized the global economy, so it's not good also for China for this war to continue for a long time. This is the page screen of the mayor of Oleshki that is on the other shore of the Dnieper River of Kherson region. And here he says, dear citizens, welcome home. So it's the first remark saying that the Ukrainian army took control over that big town on the other part of the Dnieper River, which opens the new opportunity for Ukrainian army. And little by little, we're gonna advance to the south, to Crimea. This video was filmed today in France. France continued to send Ukraine some of the weaponry. Thank you so much for your support. And those are scissors and together with some of the armored vehicles. All right, according to the latest information, the mayor of Aleshki deleted this post it means that he got this order from our military command so it's better not to rush the events yes probably we got this town under our control but it's better not to rush with that information 
and have the official one from our general commanders. Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau announced the military help to Ukraine that would cost $373 million. And yes, we'll not have that money. We're going to have the military units that would cost that much. So thank you, Canada, for your help. More news, my friends. Russia wants to carry out a complete evacuation from Lisa Chancellor Donetsk, Romina, and Rubizhna, as it was with Kherson. First of all, they want to evacuate all of the administrations and civilians. Yes, evacuate. By that word, they mean deportation. Before, people from Kherson were deported to depressed regions of Russia, like Norilsk and other cities on the far northeast parts of the Russian Federation. So this could be the sign that the Ukrainian army will advance here as well. And what I see, what I feel, yeah, I want to tell you about my feelings after here soon, after the possible Ukrainian advancement on the other part of the Dnieper River. So I want to say that I see the light and the end of this war tunnel, my friends. Everything is collapsing for Russia. They become more and more isolated. Uh, they have inside crisis within the Russian government. Putin afraid of everything. No one listens to his threats anymore. So clearly there is only one way. Ukraine wins this war and Russia loses. How much time will it take for Ukraine to get the victory? No one knows, but it will happen for sure. My friends, I'm going to keep you updated on situation here in Ukraine. Please press the like button to support this channel. And also, if you want to support me financially, there are some links in the video description just below. You may support me on Patreon, PayPal or Donatello, whichever is more convenient for you. My friends, I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are. Have a great time.